Good morning, and welcome to the 2013 Squawk. I'm Lizzie, and this is Matt. Today we'll be talking about a variety of things, including Miss Wilson and how she became the District Teacher of the Year. Then we'll be talking to Coach Smith and his football players about this upcoming season. We'll also be interviewing some freshmen and talking about how their year will be going for them. Now to Claire with some Hopkins news. So, Mr. Hopkins, what are some things you're proud of accomplishing here? First of all, thanks for coming to visit me, Claire, mm -hmm. and asking these questions. Um, you know, this, I can't believe this is starting my fourth year as principal at the high school. It's gone by really quickly. Um, over the past three years, I think we've, uh, hopefully we've done an awful lot to kind of improve the school academically. At least that's what the data shows us. Our report mm -hmm. cards have gotten progressively better, um, which means that those accountability tests, the EOCs, HSAP, AP score, all of that stuff has been on a steady trend upward. And um, I think that's probably the thing about which I'm most proud, um, but it's not just me, it's the whole faculty and staff stepping up, and then the students taking uh, their jobs a little more seriously too, I hope. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, what are some of the new things and programs and events going on this year? Well, we're, we started some new courses. Um, we're adding to the AP uh, department. Uh, AP Art is back in the next couple of years. We hope to be able to add AP Economics and AP Physics. Um, in the Kate program out in Building uh, B, um, we've added a new program called Mechatronics, which is a modern manufacturing class. So hopefully those students that are involved with engineering might want to progress through that program as well. Um, and uh, that can lead to some really great internships uh, with some local businesses while you're still in high school and also some college scholarships to be able to go to work in that industry. Neat. Okay. Cool. Um, so do you have any words of wisdom or anything to say to the student body? I think the biggest message is just, you know, make sure there's a time and place for everything. We want you to be able to socialize and have fun. Um, we want you to be able to enjoy school, but we also want you to focus when you're in class between those bells. That's the most important time of the day. And if you're doing your job during that time and the teachers are doing their job during that time, everybody's going to be successful. And we talk about that as a faculty a lot and we call that job number one. That's the most important time of the day is between those bells when the teacher's teaching. And uh, if, if we can concentrate on that, good things will happen. You will be successful as students and our teachers will be successful as teachers. Yeah, definitely. Okay, well, thank you for your time and back to you guys. All right, Claire, thank you. Go Blue Eagles. <laughs> Thanks, Claire. It sounds like we're going to have a really exciting year coming up. We're excited to say that Ms. Wilson has earned the School District Teacher of the Year Award. After being awarded last year's state's FCCLA Teacher of the Year, Christy Wilson is in complete awe of being titled Clover School District's Teacher of the Year under such a great program that she is so fond of. I could not believe it. I could not believe it. I mean, talking to some of the other teachers that were um, part of the panel, panel I just thought, um, I, I was just very honored to represent a district um, that I'm from and that I absolutely love. I think the caliber of teaching um, in this district and in this high school is amazing and just to be considered as one of them is an honor. Mrs. Wilson feels that it is because of her students' representations through the work they do that has really given her the opportunity to be crowned with this honor. My students are examples of some of the things that we do in the class and through FCCLA. FCCLA is very um, community driven and I think some of the projects that students get to do, they go out into the community and people see the different um, impacts that they can make. As Teacher of the Year, Ms. Wilson will meet with teachers across the state to come up with ideas to better the education and address certain issues that really impact the students. Things like classroom um, enrollment, class funding, um, information about improving school safety is one of the issues that um, really needs to be addressed in South Carolina and I hope to be a part of that. Congratulations Mrs. Wilson for being named Clover School District's Teacher of the Year. Thanks Miss Wilson. Keep up the great work. So Matt, who's your favorite teacher? Hmm, um, well, hmm, <sighs> Hmm. Matt, hmm? who's your favorite teacher? Oh, um, you know what? Well, we have a lot of great teachers here. How about we just ask some of the other students? 
My favorite teacher this year is Mr. Schmidt because the way he looks at things in life. Mrs. Lowry because she's funny. Mr. Aston because he's really easy to talk to and he's always there for his students. Miss Allison because she cares about the students and she is just great and she is just a wonderful teacher. Miss Jamison because she tries very hard to be a good teacher and I feel her effort. This year we have a new coach. Chad Smith. We're gonna see how him and his football players are doing. Clover football has not been what people have expected these past few years, but now, with Coach Smith, they are beginning a new chapter for the future. Uh, just to get better every week. That's our main goal. Uh, to go out there, we've got a, you know, we're reestablishing this thing. We're trying to build a foundation first, and, um, and that, that comes with learning how to play hard, learning how to fight, learning how to compete, and then learning how to win. With the tenacity of the players, the Blue Eagles fight hard at every moment and give it their all on the field. Our players, they're not afraid of work. Uh, they come every day trying to get better. And, uh, you know, they put a ton of work in over the summer. And, uh, you know, they're continuing to do so now. They we're getting a lot of work in. Coach Smith's working is pretty hard, and the coaches are all good. What do you think about the new coach, Coach Smith? I like him a lot. He's really getting us into shape, just doing good things for our program. Uh, he's pretty good. He brings a lot to the table. He expects a lot out of us, and he works us pretty hard. This new season is all about setting a new foundation for the Clover football program. Rome wasn't built in a day. Uh, I ask people to be patient and keep supporting, but we're going to go through some bumps in the road. With the team's hard effort comes the school's dedicated spirit. What was that, Owen? Going all the way to state. Thanks, Coach Smith. I'm confident that we're going to have a great season. Freshman. The most nerve-wracking thing is? Um, finding my teachers, finding my class. It's probably just having to try to figure out where all your classes are because it's a brand new school. Not being able to find your classes. <laughs> I don't know how to find my classes. My favorite class is... Does lunch count as a class? <laughs> Some... Math. My favorite class is math tech. Spanish. <sighs> Biology. The cafeteria food is... Really good, especially the fries. Really good. Okay. I like their fries. Um, all I've had is the cheeseburgers and the spicy chicken, but um, it's good, except the fries could use more salt. Have you found the pool yet? No, I need somebody's help. <laughs> really. I have not found the pool yet. You... What? Have you found the pool? No. <laughs> like, I don't know how to get there. <laughs> no. 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 Do you believe there's a pool? No. Is it like, I have a question, is it an in-ground pool or an above-ground pool? I have not found the pool. No. Okay, do you have to pay to get in? No. All right, good. We wish you luck, freshmen. That was this year's first squawk. Good luck and good news. Now we're off to the pool. Good morning and welcome to the 2000 and I screwed up. <laughs> A really exciting year ahead of us. Your <laughs> has received the. I can't get past that. <laughs> exciting. Earned <laughs> the. St student district teacher year award. <laughs> <laughs>